2023 apologist of power shift to south to south myopic pdp chieftain a chieftain of people's democratic party pdp in castina state honorable zahara din mazoji has described the apologist of power rotation to the southern part of the country as myopic and short-sighted adding that the issue of rotational presidency has not been en encapsulated in the nation's constitution. Speaking to newsmen in Kano Tuesday, Mazoji wondered why serene dance should be ordered to other people's prim primordial sentiment, even with the knowledge that rotational presidency is utterly unconstitutional. He added that for one section to insist on power shift is tantamount to staring the hornet's nest at the time the unity of the country is put to a serious test by some unpatriotic elements. He said with the reign of leadership in the firm grip of the South for a long time, it is high time for the political pendulum to swing to the North as far as the 2023 presidential election is concerned. He further posited that rotational presidency is a mere gentleman's agreement which is not considered to be sacrosanct. He said, it is still not chance to retain power as it has been in the hands of Southerners for a long time. I don't see any need for any controversy regarding this issue. We have to be resolute enough to think out of the box and begin to accept the bitter reality on ground. We are in a democratic era and it behoves on everyone to respect the norms and values guiding the system. On the current dismal security situation in the country, the chairman, Mazoji Foundation, stated that there is the compelling need for the federal government to support the nation's security personnel fighting bandits, maiming and terrorizing innocent citizens to succeed, adding that their welfare properly taken into con cognizance it would instill in them the patriotism to forge ahead he stated that leaving them to groan under a harsh condition would only demoralize them in a combat situation most especially now that the disturbing spate of criminal banditry was being confronted with vigor by the nation's security agencies in the face of the prevailing odds he affirmed that injecting sanity into the country is the best way to achieve all that is desired. On the role to be played by governors and lawmakers from the northern part of the country, the PDP chief since stated that it is high time to rise to the challenge of initiating moves aimed at bringing rapid develop development to the region in every sphere of human endeavor and wake up from the slumber that tends to turn the hands of the clock backwards. Mazoji is saying that the North should retain the presidency come 2023. Let's just listen to the comments in the comment section. Someone says, is that fraud you regarded as constitution? Nigeria breakup is imminent. When, when GEJ was the president, which is Governor Ebele Jonathan, the North was say, always saying it was their turn to rule. What has changed? Now you know it is not encapsulated in the fraud called constitution. Another person says it is convenient for them to hold on to power without commensurate impacts. Yes, in power with its attendant negativity. The northern region is worse off. No tangible development, security in shambles, poverty is at its peak, and they still want to hang on to power. Honestly, this is anti this is pathetic. Another person says the issue is the seven years power is in your hand. You messed up this country and makes this country headquarters of poverty in the world. Nigeria became deadly and number three terrorist nation. Someone else says, so in 2015, when you said it was your turn, it was it in the constitution, Mr. Bandit. Another person says, nothing else are the problem of Nigeria. Someone else says, so selfish and so selfish in thinking, so that bandits, kidnapping, rape, killings, and headsmen while will continue. Comment down in the comment section below if the North deserves to keep the presidency or it should be given to the Southerners. As you like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.